What's up, Mercs? It's Joe here with some more Skyrim. Last time we made it back to the Sanctuary, and today we're speaking with Astrid. So, how are you doing, Astrid? Good. You're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Yep, and it's specially made for the members of the Elder Council. The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Yep, and here's a letter of credit. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. But by Sithis, I hope I'm making the right choice here. You may be an effective killer, but your command of guile leaves much to be desired. The sealed letter you delivered to me was mysteriously unsealed upon its arrival. I can only assume you've read its contents. Sloppy. Oh, shit. But moving on to business. As you probably already know from reading the letter, you're going to a wedding. A wedding? Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Who's the target? Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give my best to the bride. Okay. Um... Uh, Off to solitude with you. No, it's working. That's weird. Vittoria Vici. All right. So I'm guessing that's in solitude. Uh. Oh no, no, yeah. Should be in solitude actually. Yep. All right. I will be right back. Just want to quickly check something. All right. Well, I just had to check something, but we are a okay. So let's continue moving now. I actually. I had to do a bit of field repairs. When I was checking something, my headset fell off my head, and it snapped. Yeah! Well, I mean, I had this headset for, like, at least half over, well, maybe almost a year by now, actually. I've got, it's, it's the G930, I think that's G930 or G390, I think it's 930. It's a wireless headset, the Logitech Wireless. It's very good, I like it a lot, uh, I recommend it, but, um... Uh, yeah, I mean, it didn't, then the wire snapped or anything, it's just a, p a piece of, like, a piece of the heads that just kind of broke off, one of the ears is just kind of flim like flying all over the place, so all I did was get a bunch of electrical tape, tied it up, and we're good to go. It's actually holding very well. This, this headset's actually pretty durable. I dropped it a lot because I just, like, I put it somewhere, like, on my computer, like, the tower, and it'll fall right off, but sometimes, and, uh, yeah, or I'll bump it off the desk, but, yeah, it's very reliable, it's very reliable, I highly recommend it. Anyway, as we were going about our way, we need to go to kill Victoria Vichy, and we need to go ahead and talk to Farron and tell him about our successes with getting the vampire hands. Now, there is a dragon over here, so what I think I'll do is take the dragon all the way up to the castle, because that is the harder of the two places to get to. We'll do head, we'll do head, we'll go head, talk to Farron, get what we need to do, or, yeah, well, I guess, yeah, get the next quest for them, and then we will head back over to Solitude, where we can kill Vittoria Vici, which, honestly, I, I'm like, oh, yeah, let's kill Vittoria Vici. Kill a bride at her wedding. Yeah, that sounds easy. Pfft. Doesn't seem like it'd be a hard task or anything. I mean, it's not like there's gonna be like a spotlight on her or anything crazy like that. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Got stuck in a rock. Come here, buddy. Come on, slow down. I need to capture you, sir. Oh. You can't win this fight. I'm the Dragon Lord and I rule you. I'm the new world eater, except not really, because I don't eat worlds. I eat fish. 
and really anything that tastes good. Let's get out of here, sir. Hello, Forest Dragon. Please don't attack him, Bear. He's attacking me, I think. Go ahead. Go, go, go. There we go. Nicely done. All right, now, oh, almost forgot, almost forgot. Make sure you record in the journal before. You need to document every case with a dragon every single time. Although, I'm sure I forgot sometimes. I'm trying to remove the marker. There we go. All right, off to Castle Volgahar. Let's see what the weather's like up there once we get there. Probably relatively bad, it usually is. It's usually like a big snowstorm. Uh, I think we actually tried to get a dragon up here before, and it took him a little while to land, so hopefully he figures it out. Yep, I even knew it. I knew it was going to be a snowstorm. It always is. That space is really tall, and I didn't realize half of it's destroyed. Like, you see that? There's like a big tower that just collapsed in on itself. Okay, good. He knows where to land. I honestly don't remember seeing that, though. Uh-oh. What's that all the way out there? Oh, hold on a second. Get me some clear skies here, although my cooldown's still coming out. But, uh, well, cooldown will be gone by the time we get back out here, so we can go back to the ice water jetty. What are you doing? Come on, Florin. We don't need to fight anyone. Let's just go inside. Let's speak with Florin. Or, or um, Farron, not Florin. Sorry. Sorry, now I'm getting the F-words confused. The F-names, I mean, not the F-words. Not the F-words, the F-names. We need to speak with Farron. And then we need to take Florin to kill Vichy and fuck her day up. Well, I guess, really, it would kind of fuck anyone's day up if you get killed. It's not like... It's not like she has this hatred of her day getting, quote-unquote, fucked up. I guess anyone would be mad at that. But we're going to do it in particular with her because, well, she's gonna die. Well, honestly, would that fuck her day up, though? Because then there is no more day. If you die, there is no more day. So is that honestly fucking your day up? Could be making your day better in some cases. Mmm, I don't know. It's a philosophy question, honestly. Life here has many Yeah, I'm not gonna listen to you. What do you ever sell? Oh yeah, alchemy. I returned from Fort Fellhammer with the ancient vampire hands. Wonderful. I'll make the necessary preparations for infusion into the chalice presently. Is there anything I can do to help? I've located the last known resting what? place of a set of ancient amulets of night power. They should be among our kind, not laying about unguarded for mortals to find. I'm sure they're not unguarded, but uh, what do these amulets do? The amulets increase the effectiveness of your vampiric powers. That's cool. Where did they come from? Depends on who you ask. Some say Molag Ball himself gave these amulets to ancient powerful vampire lords. I'm a dragon lord. Some say this is just a myth. Harkon disbelieved in their existence. Though perhaps he felt slighted they were not already in his possession, and only Vane's indifference. Will I be able to keep them? Of course. I wouldn't be telling you where to find them if I desired them for myself. Alright, where are they? Good luck. Okay. Amulets of Night Power. Amulets of Bats from Dragonbridge South. And amulets of gargoyle from Hobbs F Hobbs Fall. Have we been there before? I feel like I remember it. Let's see. Well, Dragon Bridge South. So okay. Oh uh, no, we haven't. Hobbs Fall. I feel like I discovered this before. Maybe no. Probably not. All right. So the way this is gonna work is we're gonna go to Solitude. We're gonna well. You know what? It'd probably be better if we just go to Dragon Bridge, get that amulet, head to Solitude, deal with Vichy. Take the, the uh, carriage all the way to Dawnstar, go to you with uh, Hobbs Fall, head down to Windhelm, take the carriage back to the Black... Uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. Dark Brotherhood Century. I, keep, I was about to say Black Brotherhood, that's why I kind of stopped myself with meaningless words. Yes, the Dark Brotherhood Century. And then, I guess we'll figure out what we do from there. Not too bad. Not too bad indeed. All right, let's go. Let's go. Make sure Clear Skies is ready to cast, which it already is, so I can get rid of this horrible snow because I don't want it in my eyes. I'm a dragon lord. The snow may grace my presence, or rather, I may grace the snow with my presence. However, it's very rude to get in my eyes, so I will vanquish the snow. Not for anyone else, but for me. Because I am the dragon lord, and I am perfect and amazing. Well, actually, no, I'm not perfect, and that makes me amazing. Ah. 
I'm a bitter thief. I was about to say bitter old, but I'm not old. I'm not old. I'm only like 55. I'm a youngin. Wait, is that is that more or is that just residual? I think it's more. Whatever. Small cooldown anyway. Let's just keep casting it. What the fuck is going on? Why is it so dark? What time is it? Uh, if I can only remember the button. It's 7.15. That's why it's so dark. Because it's late, Jono. Why is it dark? Well, it is nighttime. Ah, of course. I could have never guessed. So this is the icon. This is the marker we're looking for. So I think I might be able to climb that rock right there. And the snow is still getting in my eyes, even though I can't see it. How dare it become invisible in my presence. I understand you're scared of me, Snow, and I've killed all your brethren, but leave me be, or I shall vanquish you too. God damn it, fucking Snow. Come on. God, get out of my eye, Snow. Come on. God. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to make it. This is steeper than I thought. Come on. There we go. All right, on to the rocks, which, in my opinion, is the harder part, but... Mm, come on, come on. Yeah, get those claws into the rocks. Let's jump this way. Oh, come on. I gotta get up on this little thing here. Okay, okay. Let's go around here. Oh, oh. Back. God damn it, I fell. Oh, there we go, there we go. Nice, nice. Alright, we're up the first set of rocks, although this one looks a bit steeper and the snow is... Okay. You know what, I said the rocks are worse, but honestly the snow is, because the snow has less um, contours, I guess you can say. It's less things to jump on. The rocks have edges everywhere. You can just, like, find different spots to jump on rocks all the time. But with snow, it's kind of smooth, actually. Oh, can I? Shit. Shit, I'm falling. <gasps> it's not a snowstorm game. Wait, no, we can't get up that way. Man, can I not get up? I usually never get defeated by mountains. Oh my god, I might be defeated. Well, I don't know. It's just looking really steep here. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. No oh, more rocks. Can't jump up rocks again. Snow, so that's a little bit different, too. I think my torch just burned out. There you go. Or, no, I'd probably just put it away, because, well. I almost fell. I need to hold my balance. And I, you know, a big flaming stick in my hand doesn't really help my balance, does it? Come on! Oh! Get up there! Get up there! Yes! Yes! Dig those claws in the mountainside! Come on! Use your Khajiit claws! Wow, this is really fucking steep. There's no way. I gotta get over. Okay. No! No! Get over here! No, don't lose too much altitude! Here. Okay, there we go. Okay, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm done. I'm give up. No. No, I don't. Okay, I give up. This is annoying. <sighs> That's really strange. Uh, maybe I am getting old. Mountains don't normally defeat me. Maybe I'm sick. What if I have a disease that kills? Oh no. Oh no. I thought my vampirism prevented any diseases. Anyway, let's just keep going this way. We'll have to go around. Ugh. Gross. Are there normally... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, are there normally goblins here? But that is one more little peninsula over, because that's the North Watch people. And hey, guys, how you doing? Is everyone doing good? I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's a yes. Silence is yes, that's right. Yeah, no. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, you have to go through the frozen water. I don't, because I know how to jump... Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck, Len Swift? Are you serious? Oh my god. What did I even say last time? Oh my god. I'm such a fucking moron. There we go. Yeah. Yep. Len Swift Fiamit. He knows everything at his disposal. God. Damn it. I could have totally made it up there with this. Come on, get her jump in. I see one more and I can climb this. Come on, there we go. 
Oh my god, this is so much easier. Why? I can't believe I forgot about this. Oh my god. That sucks. I even said last time I can use this to get up places I couldn't normally get up. I even said it. And I didn't listen to my words. I knew I wasn't going to remember about it, though. I knew for a fact I was going to forget that I had weakened gravity. So we just have to make sure it's favorited and that I remember. Anytime I can't get up something, just use weakened gravity. Jump right up. Okay. We gotta adjust a little bit here. There we go. Come on. There we go. Yes. Like a man of spiders. We climb. Oh my, what the fuck was that? There we go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Not even mountains can defeat Wentz with Fiamit Dragon Lord. No, oh, I think it should be the other way around. Well, no, there's supposed to be a com comma for or between Wentz with Fiamit and Dragon Lord, but you could use as a title Dragon Lord Wentz with Fiamit. You know, but I think I don't know. I think, I think the comma is good. Definitely think the comma is good. Yeah. Stating it after, because that way you're not bragging. Although, I am a bragger. Everyone is worse than me. They are inferior. I mean, I am, I am the savior of, of Nern, and, uh, well, I am Wentz with Vehemit, and, well, I am the Dragon Lord, and fuck everyone else. But, you know, still, don't want to brag, even though I do. Anyway, we made it past the mountain. I'm going to recast Weak and Gravity so we can just get through this a little bit easier. Just like a few little, I mean, not so we get through it easier, so I can just screw around while we get to where we need to be. Up in the air, up in the air, up in the air, up in the air, whoa, up in the air, we fly, cause we're the dragon lord. You know what? You know what? We're vampires, we're, dra we're vampire lords, and we're dragon born, so we're, dra we're dragon lords, you know. But, but... Why haven't we taken the full transformation of a dragon? Why haven't we got wings yet, you know? Speaking of dragon... Uh... Uh-oh. But why haven't we grown wings? Maybe I should talk to some sort of, uh... Alteration mage about... Maybe... Just... Giving me some... Some wings? You know, just a few... Just some small wings. Enough to carry my own body weight. And maybe, like... I don't know... Three tons of cargo, of, 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 uh, of stuff, of things, of swords and loot, and, you know, just, uh, that's modest, right? Three tons? That's not a lot. That's, like, honestly, I mean, I could ask for more. I could say, well, I want to carry, you know, I want to carry uh, an entire world. But I'm not asking for that. Come on. Three tons? That's not in, out of, like, the realm of possibility, right? Why am I stuttering so bad? Maybe it's the weakened gravity. It's weakening the time frame. It's weakening the time-space continuum. I'm breaking the world. Honestly, I think if you weakened gravity, it like it wouldn't just affect you. Because wouldn't it be like a global thing? Unless it's like an area thing. It just affects everyone in your area. I don't know. I feel like that'd be really bad though if you weaken gravity anywhere on any world. Because everything's used to it, and you weaken it, everything that's built to withstand a certain gravity has now less gravity, so now everything is going to get fucky. Like, it's not built for less gravity. I mean, granted, if it was, well, four times higher, yeah. Jump four times higher, there's going to be shit just flying everywhere and crashed into things. It'd be horrible. It'd be awful. And yet, it'd be strangely satisfying to see lots of stuff explode. No, okay. Well, no, no, it is. You don't tell me seeing stuff explode and crash isn't satisfying. Come on! Destruction, anarchy, that's awesome. I love seeing that. When it's, you know... No, well, I was about to say controlled, but no. No, it's... Well, anarchy isn't controlled, that's the point. But no, yeah, that'd be cool if gravity was weakened. I mean, it wouldn't be cool for the people who were stuck in it, but it would be cool to watch. Just spectate, you know. Unless you really wanted to be stuck in gravity. Like, this would be awesome if I could jump this high. Oh, man. If my normal Khajiit body could jump this high... Ugh be amazing. Too bad it's only magic. Ah, oh, magic. Here we are. Dragon Bridge. Let me go ahead and record in the journal just in case. You know, you don't know. It's Dragon Bridge. 
you know how it works. It's not a good place to be in normally. Uh, so it looks like it's actually across the Dragon Ridge, which is good because the blacksmith is over here, and the blacksmith, he has lots of good stuff. At least he normally does. He had that Daedric I had the one time. Was it a Daedric Katana, I believe? Yeah, the one time we came back here, like, at the start of our journey, it was like 53,000 gold. It was, like, fucking ridiculous. Like, even now I wouldn't buy something for 53,000 unless it was a house. Or, like, I don't know, a big war machine that could destroy entire cities. Like, that would be cool, but I don't want to buy a sword for that much. Is there a carriage worker? What is this? Oh, shit. Excuse me. No. Who get, how, what? How do I get in then? Uh oh. Hmm. I guess we'll have to find out next time, because I think I'm going to be ending today's adventure here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Hold on. Ah, there it is. Goodbye.